who is responsible for the maintenance of flooring and substructure of all the bridges and the options are bridge inspector assistant engineer permanent bay or works inspector senior section engineer or in mein sahi jawab hai permanent bay or works inspector the maintenance of bearing of the girder bridges with a span above 12.2 meter is the responsibility of options are works inspector permanent bay inspector divisional engineer and bridge engineer and the right answer is bridge engineer which of the following is not a responsibility of the permanent bay inspector clearing water wage painting steel bridges maintaining guard rails and maintaining trolley refuges here painting a steel bridges is not the responsibility of permanent bay inspector who is responsible for making of hfl and danger level traffic inspector divisional or senior divisional engineer store keepers or contractors and the right option is divisional or senior divisional engineer which marking should be present on the left girder of the bridges and the option are date of next inspection date of painting load capacity and bearing details and the right option is date of painting who ensures the clearing of water bridge of the bridges traffic inspector bridge inspector permanent way inspector or section engineer and here permanent way inspector a steel work of girder bridges with clear span over 12.2 meter is maintained by junior engineer works inspector bridge inspector or trackman and here bridge inspector is the right answer which detail is not included in inspection marking hfl danger level bed level and pier length and here bed length is not marked flood level gauge must be painted in red on white background black and black on white background yellow on blue background and white on red background and the right answer is black on white background the direction of water flow is marked in red paint green chalk white paint or blue ink and the right option is white paint what should be provided on canal bridges similar to hfl lines warning signs flow meter full supply level or name board right option is full supply level name board should be fixed at what approximate distance from the abutment 10 meter 12 meter 15 meter or 18 meter and the right option is 15 meter the maintenance of track over bridges is done by senior section engineer works inspector permanent way inspector or chief engineer and the right option is permanent way inspector the responsibility for all painting works lies primarily with traffic manager bridge engineer works inspector or divisional engineer bridges so primarily responsibility for painting is bridge engineer important girder bridges should have the date of painting marked on right girder ends top of pier left girder at inch end 
center panel and here left girder at each end is the right answer. The flood level marking should begin from road level, pier base, girder underside, slab joint. And the right answer is girders underside. The steel work of girder span less than 12.2 meter is maintained by assistant engineer, works inspector, bridge inspector, or section supervisor. And the right answer is works inspector. Who ensures projections, works like bed blocks and flooring are repaired? Permanent bay inspector, assistant engineer, trolley man, a storekeeper. Here the right answer is assistant engineer. Which item is not maintained by the permanent bay inspector? Name boards, trolley refuge, bearing or sand bins. And here bearing is not maintained by permanent bay inspector. All bridge maintenance actions are executed at monsoon only when convenient as per chief engineer's directions after water logging and here as per chief engineer's direction. A foundation with less than 2 meter depth below bed level is known as deep foundation, minor foundation, shallow foundation or floating foundation and the right option is shallow foundation. To prevent a score, the foundation of a bridge may be protected with sandbags, RCC pillars, a stone pitching with curtain walls, wooden planks, and the right option is a stone pitching with curtain walls. A suitable protection for deep foundation is sandbag bund, pitching a stone or crates, plastic seats, wire mesh and the right option is pitching a stone or crates. Which method is not used to protect against a score? Curtain walls, drop walls, beep holes and boulders. And the right answer is weep holes. A method for severe a score protection includes timber piles, sausage crates filled with boulders, cement blocks, reinforced soil walls. And the right option is sausage crates filled with boulders. Pitching a stones for production should be very small, filled in wooden crates, large enough to resist water flow, or made of sand. And the right option is, it should be large enough to resist water flow. Damaged pitching must be removed, covered, rebuilt immediately, left untouched. And the right answer is rebuilt immediately. The maintenance of slope pitching depends upon soil color, depth of water, condition of tow wall, bridge span. And the right option is condition of tow wall. To prevent slipping of pitching, one should ensure painting of slopes, tow wall with proper foundation, red bricks, waterproof canvas and here tow wall with proper foundation. Water bay obstructions should be cleared during rainfall, after monsoon, immediately or occasionally and the right answer is immediately. 
बाउंड्री पिलर्स ऑन रिवर बैंक हेल्प इन डेकोरेशन प्रिवेंटिंग थेफ्ट कंट्रोलिंग इनक्रोचमेंट और वाटर फिल्टर वाटर फिल्ट्रेशन एंड द राइट ऑप्शन इज कंट्रोलिंग इनक्रोचमेंट टो वॉल सपोर्ट साइड रेलिंग स्लोप पिचिंग ड्रेनेज पाइप्स गार्ड रेल्स एंड राइट ऑप्शन इज स्लोप पिचिंग कर्टेन वॉल्स आर यूजली यूज विद स्टील ट्रेसेज आर सी सी बीम्स अ स्टोन पिचिंग और ट्रैफिक सिग्नल्स एंड इट इज अ स्टोन पिचिंग ड्रॉप वॉल्स शुड बी प्लेस्ड एब रोड लेवल बिलो द फाउंडेशन एट नॉर्मल बेड लेवल ओवर पियर एंड इट शुड बी एट नॉर्मल बेड लेवल वीप होल्स आर प्रोवाइडेड टू रिलीव इलेक्ट्रिक करेंट हाइड्रोस्टैटिक प्रेशर टेम्परेचर और विंड लोड एंड इट शुड बी हाइड्रोस्टैटिक प्रेशर when it is best to repair damage to foundation during flood immediately after rainfall dry season before painting and the right option is dry season cell foundation depth for the arc bridges is less than 2.5 meter 1.2 meter 2 meter or 1 meter and the right option is 2 meter for deep foundation pitching between piers is generally preferred prohibited recommended cost effective and it is prohibited two walls are associated with rail tracks stone pitching bearing deck slabs and the right answer is a stone pitching deep a score around drop walls must be filled with cement ballast boulders or crates colta and the right option is boulders or crates horizontal cracks in bridge sub structure are usually less severe caused by painting more serious caused by dirt accumulation and here it is more serious cracks at the intradoss near the crown in an arc barrel indicate hydrostatic pressure compression stress tensile stress or design error and here it is tensile stress leaning or bulging wall indicates proper support A strong drainage a structural distress or paint failure and it should be a structural distress the first step to diagnose a crack is to fill it paint over observe with tell tales drill a hole and it is observe with the tell tales bulging walls may result from a steel corrosion choked beep holes paint deterioration deep leaching and here right answer is choked beep holes remedy for wader joint in masonry is painting bitumen coating cement mortar painting cement mortar pointing and grazing and the right answer is cement mortar pointing a spandrel wall tilting may need bituminous coating tie roads painting or drainage trees so here right answer is tie roads cracks due to excessive horizontal loads are always small transverse horizontal or vertical 
and it should be horizontal. Sign of leaching include white deposit, powdery mortar, blue discoloration, rust stains. And the right answer is powdery mortar. When should the weep hole be above FSL? When there is a heavy rainfall in canal bridges, in tunnels, or always. So here in canal bridges. So thank you for watching this video. In this video, we have taken 50 question, 50 question from the chapter 2 of Indian Railway Bridge Manual. In the second part, second 50 question we will carry on. Thank you.